When you stop a car, you push on the brake pedal, which pushes on the cylinder that pressurizes hydraulic fluid out to the brakes by the wheels, which stops the car. This is a brake pedal that has been removed from a car. The foot applies force to the pedal here at this point. The pedal remo rotates around this point here, and the force is applied to the master cylinder from this point going that way. The force that is applied by the foot here is magnified due to the difference in lengths of these two segments around the pivot point. So as the force is applied by the foot here, an increased force is applied on the master cylinder from this point that way. In this problem, the force that is listed in the problem statement comes from this point applying to the master cylinder. This is the master cylinder, the main hydraulic piston in a brake system. The force from the pedal enters the hydraulic piston from here, which compresses the piston component that is in this area right here. The hydraulic fluid, which is non-compressible, is then receives the force from the piston and increases its pressure. This pressure then exits through these two ports, which is carried by these lines to the rest of the brake system. This is a drum in a brake system. The wheel is attached to the front of this drum by these five pins. Inside of the drum is the system that causes the wheel to stop spinning. This is the brake cylinder. This cylinder is what receives the fluid with the increased pressure from the master cylinder. When it receives this fluid, the pressure it causes two, pist two pistons on either side to be extended and push these two shoes out against the inside walls of the drum. This pushing out of these two shoes causes friction inside of the drum which causes the wheel to stop spinning. This is an inside view of a drum. When the shoes come in contact with this inside wall here, they create friction. This friction causes torque that slows down or stops the wheels from spinning.